You have to be impressed with these two young kids, how they're carrying themselves, uh, uh, handling uh, the intense games that we're playing in. You wouldn't know it with these two. They're, I'd love their focus. Uh, they're not afraid of anything. They, they, these guys want to be out there. They, they, they want to be in the fire. You can see it. And, and you don't know really how a young players are going to handle a you know, playoff type situation or atmosphere. But these two, and really, I felt that way even before we got to the postseason. That these two would be fine, and they are. They're they're really really good players, but they're mentally tough, uh, and you know they they want to be out there. I think there's so many different forms of communication. You know, there's a lot of stuff of me just watching him, um, seeing how he handles himself, how he handles you know just the spotlight of you know hey this is he's the head of the ship. Um, and, you know, he, he jokes with us and, you know, there's, like I said, there's a lot of forms of communication, but he does an incredible job. And, you know, I'm thankful to be, for, to have him as the manager. Tell you what, we can talk about Cody Bradford, too. How about him getting the ball the other day and throwing a couple tough innings for them? Really impressed with what the young guys have done. But the two that stand out, we'll go dive into right now. Get a look at Evan Carter and also Josh Young, what they've been able to do and how they have been big impact on this club and both talked about it hey let's let's talk about what Carter did first series against Tampa he jumps yard with the home run I was comparing number 32 to Josh Hamilton's talent that type of talent but when he made this catch in the outfield being able to go get the ball defensively defense plays in the postseason so when you're doing it on both sides this was really a game he broke up nobody was scoring runs it was a fourth inning he drives in a run that got the Rangers rolling right there and then he came up with this ball back up the middle. So he's swinging the bat. He's playing well. He runs the bases. He's athletic. He looks like a player that Dan O'Dowd would have drafted and put on his type of clubs. And this double play right here on, with Josh Young right there, fielding it, turning double play. The poise behind that was big. And then the home run opposite field, basically right center, center field, staying with himself, staying true. But I go back with this guy a long ways. Remember the draft and the Rangers took this guy early in the picks? And he was able to do this thing. But look at him shooting the ball over the yard, doing all this different type of stuff. And he has not changed. We talked earlier in the show, if you were watching, about Royce Lewis. Same thing with this young man. When he first came up to the big leagues, where is he going to be able to defend? This play right here is one of the early ones he made. Charging and throwing on the runs is one of his strengths. And I think he's been able to get in a position where he's able to use his strength and be able to do those things. But he's had some big home runs. But since he got back healthy, he kept this team rolling. To hit a ball that far in that ballpark, really impressive stuff. But the swing has not changed. I'll take you back to his Texas Tech days. You see the leg kick and the finish and the follow through. Everything is basically the same. When you have a swing that's simple and you're used to it, he shortened his stride a little bit on the leg kick. But other than that, that's how they get to the big leagues quick. Real simple. A little bit of a high leg kick gets through it. He simplified the leg kick, but the stance, the setup, everything, the approach is basically the same, getting the bad head out and going. He hasn't changed angles. He hasn't changed approach. All the things are really similar, and that's why you have great success young, and you continue it early. Just a theme, Dan. I'm telling you, there's a theme to young players not messing with them a whole lot. You've had great success with that, Dan. H, you're right, and that's a great breakdown because his swing looks identical to how he did at Texas Tech. A little easier ballpark to hit in Texas, Texas Tech. Bandbox. Yeah. Ball flies out of that place. From college to the pros, that really identical pass so far. 